Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ball Prairie Real Estate. My name's Matt, that's Matilda, and today we're talking about how much real estate agents get paid. Oh, I cannot wait to read the comments because if this video does not get me lit up in the comments, I'm not sure what will. If you have watched anything like Selling Sunset, you have seen those big sale prices and even bigger commission checks. Six bar, that's complete privacy, anyway you look. What you waiting for? You're probably thinking, wow, real estate agents really do get paid way too much. What I wanna do on this video is show you how much a real estate agent in Canada would get paid. Trust me, it's nowhere near those crazy big numbers that you see on the TV show. But before we get started, I gotta give you another terrible joke. And this one comes from my wife and she doesn't tell very many jokes, but she's really proud of this one. What does Matthew McConaughey say in church? I'll rise, I'll rise, I'll rise. If you have a terrible joke that I can use in a future episode of Ball Prairie Real Estate, put it in the comments below, like this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Later in this video, I wanna give you two examples of how much real estate agents are actually paid, but before we do that, there's a couple of things you gotta know. How real estate agents get paid, how much commissions are, how do taxes work for real estate agents, and of course, the most important part, what agents are actually selling houses? Because not very many are. With the average house price in Canada being $750,000 and commissions typically between three and 5%, that means the average agent selling the average house in Canada is making 20 to $40,000 per sale. Wow. Real estate agents really do get paid way too much money. Well, that's the video guys. Thanks very much. Like and subscribe, please. Of course, there's more to the story than just that. You know me, I'm gonna break down the numbers for you. And no, the average agent in Canada selling the average house is not making twenty to $40,000 per transaction. It's time for a really cold, hard truth about real estate and real estate agents. 80% of the houses sold will be sold by 20% of the real estate agents. In fact, in the greater Toronto area, 50% of those real estate agents will sell less than one house a year. Less than 2% of all real estate agents in Toronto average selling one house a month. That means in Toronto, there's a lot of real estate agents that aren't doing a lot of real estate business. That means if you want to buy a house, there are a lot of real estate agents that aren't helping a lot of buyers. But I know real estate agents across the country that do know what the heck they're doing. And I want to get you set up with them. So if you are thinking about buying a house, I'm going to put my contact information below, plus a link to my calendar where you can book me in for a call. I'll give you a quick call, learn about what's important to you, get you paired up with the perfect agent for you. Real estate agents get paid on a commission, meaning a percentage of the sale price. So they don't get paid every two weeks. If a real estate agent sells a house, typically it's gonna be 30 to 90 days after they actually sell the house because they only get paid after possession and the deal fully closes. They're not getting paid every single two weeks. There's no health benefits, no pension plan, no RSPs, no paid vacation or sick days. All of that, they're on their own for. And that three to 5% commission well, they're not getting all of that. They're only getting half of that because they're splitting it with the real estate agent that was on the other side of the transaction. And of course, don't forget, the government wants their cut of your income. Real estate commissions also have GST or HST on top of them, meaning that the real estate agent will get paid actually more than that commission amount. They're gonna have to keep that and then remit it back to the government. And unlike most jobs where your employer will take money off for income tax before they pay a paycheck out to you, real estate agents get paid all of that and then have to put a percentage of that away for savings because they're gonna pay their income taxes either quarterly or yearly. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty details of how much a real estate agent will actually pay for selling a house in Canada. In this example, I wanna talk about Nancy, the new recruit. So she's a brand new agent and she's gonna work on a team. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about a savvy veteran agent that's making sweet bank in this next example. But for this new agent, this team is gonna help her cover the cost of her marketing, photography, staging, advertising, things like that. But in return, she's gonna have to give up a portion of commission for those services. Nancy sells her very first house, $750,000. That's the average house price in Canada right now. 4% commission, boom. She makes over $30,000 with GST. Nope, because you gotta split that 50-50 with the other agent that was part of the transaction. So now Nancy, about well, $15,000 is what she's gonna take home. She sells one house a month, Nancy's gonna make over $200,000. She's gonna be rich. Nancy isn't very likely to sell one house a month. Most agents don't. In fact, 50% of those that start in real estate are out of the business within two years. There's no substitute for experience. You can be a real estate agent 
It's not the same as actually selling real estate. Because Nancy is a member of a team and they paid the expenses for marketing, staging, photography, all that type of stuff, they're gonna take half Nancy's commission, then the government, GST, income tax. Of course, you also have to be a member of a real estate board, so that's gonna cost you per month. We'll take it out of this deal. In most jobs, you're gonna have some sort of a benefits package for health, dental, and of course, a retirement plan of some sort, whether it's a pension or RSPs provided for employer. Nancy doesn't have that as a real estate agent, so she's gonna have to put away some money for that. Typically, the average is about 25% more than what a person makes, so let's take 25% off Nancy's commission check that she's gotta put away for pension and her health plan. What is Nancy left with now? From that initial commission check of over $15,000, Nancy takes home about $3,700. Real estate agents don't get paid big money for selling one house at even at a high price. Real estate agents make their money by selling a whole bunch of houses. Now, let's talk about Steve, the savvy veteran agent. Since Steve is a savvy seasoned agent, he's not on a team. He's not gonna have to pay that 50-50 split to his team, but Steve is also responsible for all his own marketing and expenses. How much is Steve gonna make off selling that same house that Nancy does for $750,000? Steve's commission check starts at that $15,000 and change, but he still has a split fee to his brokerage. When you're on a team, they would pay that split fee for you, and typically that's 20 to 40% of the commission. For Steve's case, let's say he's got a 20% commission. Don't forget, Steve still has to put away the GST, the income tax, and he's gotta pay his monthly board dues to his real estate board, so let's take that off the field as well. Steve also has to pay for all his own marketing, advertising, photography, drones, staging, anything like that, and of course, what you do is gonna vary wildly but let's say on the low end, Steve has to pay $2,000 for his marketing expenses. And don't forget, Steve has to save for all his benefits and his retirement, so take that off as well. Steve starts off with that same $15,000 check that Nancy did, but at the end of the day, Steve ends up taking home a little under $5,000. But because Steve is a seasoned agent that's gonna sell a lot of houses, that 20% split fee to his brokerage is probably gonna get eliminated later on in the year. Usually there's a cap on those fees after you've paid a certain amount as a real estate agent, you don't have to pay any more and it's gone. So at the end of the year, Steve's gonna be taking home a larger percentage of that commission check. And because he's selling a lot of houses, he's gonna be able to negotiate a better deal most likely with the photographer and the staging company. So those costs could be quite a bit less after it's all said and done. Did some of these numbers shock you? Let me know in the comments below. You know what else is gonna shock you? The fact that I think the Canadian real estate market is broken. And I talk about it right here in this video. And this right here is what the YouTube algorithm says you need to watch next on Bald Prairie Real Estate. As always guys, thanks very much for watching.